Okay, good morning everybody. Now we have a correct, we are going to have a correction to the exercise we had in last class. Number one, one date is it first of all. Today is 17. And we're having a correction to start with. Now, number one. Number one says find the value of x and then the size of the unknown angles and the polygon below. Let me copy the diagram and just paste it on that page. So this is the diagram. Okay, I think it's even too small. Not to draw it because this page is a smaller page. So now let's let's go. Let's have a diagram quickly. You have that um, one, two, three, four, five, and then six sides. So what are these angles of it? Polygon 105 degrees, 115 degrees, 2x, x, 2x, and 100 degrees. Now we want to find the value of x first of all. This polygon is a six sided polygon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means it's a hexagon it has six sides and that means it's a hexagon so sum of angles sum of interior angles sum of interior angles equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees so that simply means when you add n minus 2 times 180 degrees which is equal to 6 minus 2 because the number of sides is 6 times 180 degrees and that's 4 times 180 degrees which is 720 degrees that simply means when you add all of these angles together 100 no 105 115 2x x 2x and 100 i will get 720 degrees that's what it means so let me erase the things I've written on the diagram. So that simply means 105 plus 115 plus 2x plus x plus another 2x plus 100 equals 720. So let's add 105 plus 115 plus 100 that's going to be 10 carry one that's two and that's three so that's 320 plus 2x plus x is 3x plus another 2x is 5x 320 plus 5x equals 720 and that means 5x equals 720 minus 3 720 minus 320 which means 5x equals 400 and we divide both sides by 5 and therefore x equals 80 degrees now so 2x and what this means is 2x equals 2 times 2 times 80 degrees which is 160 degrees so the other two angles the other the sizes of the unknown angles are the unknown angles are therefore the unknown angles are x which is 80 degrees 2x which is 160 degrees 
and another 160 degrees. So those are the unknown angles. 80 degrees, 160 degrees. Let's try to write this well. 80 degrees, 160 degrees, and 160 degrees. That's it simply. Now we go to number two. The sum, the sum of the angles of a decagon. The sum of the angles of a decagon is 1170 degrees. The other three angles are all equal to each other. Calculate the sizes of the other three angles. Okay, that's actually the sum of seven of the angles of a decagon is 1170 degrees. The other three angles are all equal to each other. Calculate the sizes of the other three angles. So what do we say? Sum of angles, sum of the interior angles of a decagon sum of angles equals is given by n minus 2 times 180 degrees and that's 10 minus 2 times 180 degrees which is 8 times 180 and you can work that out 180 times 8 that's 0 64 carry 6 8 times 180 plus 614 that's 1140 degrees so that means the decagon has the sum of angles in the decagon is 1140 degrees. So we already know the sum of seven of its angles. So now let's say let x be each. Let x be each. That should be E A. Each of the other three. Each of the other three equal angles. Each of the other three angles I will know that those other three angles are equal so that means x plus x plus x plus 1170 is equal to 1440 and that means 3x plus 1140 170 equals 1440 and that means 3x equals 1440 minus 1170 and that means 3x equals 270 so we divide both sides by 3 and that gives us x equals 90 degrees so now what's the question Calculate the sizes of the other three angles. You can now say therefore the other three angles the other three angles are each ninety degrees. That's that the other three angles are each ninety degrees. Now to the next number three A. This one says the sum. This one says how many sides has a polygon if the sum of its angles is 44 right angles? Let's go sum of angles. Sum of angles equals 44 right angles. That's 44 times 90 degrees. And we already know the formula for the sum of interior angles of a polygon, which is n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So that means n minus 2 times 180 degrees equals 44 times 90 degrees. And the first thing to do here is to divide both sides by 180 degrees, which means 180 equals 180. 90 here, 1. So I bother. 90 here 1, 90 here 2, 2 here 1, 2 in 44 is 22. And that means n minus 2 equals 22. Which means n equals 22 plus 2. And that's 24. So therefore, the polygon has the polygon has 24 sides. Polygon has 24 sides. 
now to be if the polygon is regular what is the size of each angle in degrees here they are saying we should find the size of each interior angle of a polygon all you need to do here is find the size of each exterior angle and from you know and we'll be able to find the size of each interior angle you know from that so what do i say each each exterior angle if it is regular that means its exterior angles will also be equal each exterior angle let me write exterior angle this way okay let me write it in full each exterior angle equals sum of exterior angles sum of exterior angles that's short for exterior those are that's short for exterior and it's those are short for exterior and sum and angles sum of exterior angles over number of sides this is the formula for the size of each exterior angle of a polygon when its number of sides is known and that's equal to the sum of exterior angles of a polygon is 360 degrees so that's 360 divided by 24 and that is what's that 12 year 2 12 year 30, 2 year 1, 2 year 15. So that's, that's equal to 15 degrees. That means each of the ex, of the exterior angles of a polygon is 15 degrees, as a size of 15 degrees. Now, how do we find the size of each interior angle? That's quite simple. Let me have a sketch of that polygon. If I draw the polygon this way. I have a better diagram. If I draw the polygon this way, we are talking about a regular polygon, so all its sides are equal. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't need to draw all of the twenty-four to show all of the twenty-four sides. Let me just do this to show that the number of sides is not complete in this diagram. So each exterior angle is fifteen degrees. That means this is fifteen, and this is also fifteen degrees. And we want to find the size of each interior angle. All of the interior angles are going to be equal, mind you. So let me call each of them y. Let y equals let y be equal to each interior angle. So what do I say? Y plus 15. Of course, you can see that y plus 15 degrees is 180 degrees because they are both on a straight line. They are both on this straight line. So y plus 15 degrees equals 180 degrees angles on a straight line. Angles on a straight line. And that means y equals 180 minus 15, which is 165 degrees. We can say therefore they said what is the size of each angle in degrees therefore each angle therefore each interior angle of a polygon of a polygon each interior angle of a polygon is 165 degrees and that's it very very simple this is actually question yeah that's it very very simple that's 3b and that's it so please copy the correction neatly in your note and send to me for inspection you didn't send your you didn't send the exercise in the last class you know i i i i, I don't i was already impressed by that always do your exercises and submit for inspection that helps it that gives a feedback to the teacher and it's and you can tell whether you're getting the concepts or not all right thank you very much and we have and see you in the next